Hi, my name is Kadosha Ona Carroll, and welcome to Hollywood Entertainment News. I have a wonderful guest for you today with a powerful message. He has been appointed by the British UK government as an ambassador FMI to Zambia in Africa. He's also a producer, a director, and an actor. That's just a few of the talents that he has. And most recently, he launched a streaming, a powerful streaming network called UDemand.net. It is my honor to introduce you to my friend, Ambassador Kenneth Dixon. <laughs> well, thank you for that wonderful introduction. <laughs> and I want to say that I'm really happy to be here. Uh, to discuss a couple things that are near and dear to me. Um, recently, I was appointed by the British UK government as an FMI ambassador to Zambia in Africa. And I uh, never saw that coming, was quite surprised and taken by it. But someone recognized the work that I was doing in my travels between Los Angeles and London for 10 years, setting up programs for disadvantaged youth. And uh, I had a friend of mine who I knew, her name was Princess Wine. She was the princess to Nigeria. Um, and she took notice and she decided to uh, make a recommendation. And that recommendation came out to my appointment. Um, long story, but, you know, by having dual citizenship, I was able to qualify for that appointment from the UK government. So it brings me to the beginnings of my humble, humble beginnings. Uh, I started out as an actor in the entertainment business and advanced my way up to executive producer through a partnership with uh, my partner, Gus Blackman, who had been at Warner Brothers for about 42 years at the time. Um, he gave me an opportunity, so I want to do the same for someone else. You know, that was where my heart was when I was first uh, nominated for an ambassadorship. I couldn't turn it down. You know, God put it heavy on my heart that now is my opportunity to pass the buck. It's my opportunity to give back. So I took that very seriously, and I, I didn't know quite what I was going to do, but I knew through my contacts in the media business, um, the movie business, that we could create programs, which I did in London back and forth for 10 years between LA and London, to create those programs in order to take those things on the road and to shine a light uh, of hope and, and happiness and, and praise and, and just help bring up another spirit so that they understand that they are not lost. They are people who care, who are basically turning into a group and bringing other people down so that we can show them that there's an opportunity for all people. And I'm glad to be able to spearhead that as an ambassador to Zambia. So everyone, please band together with me. Doesn't matter how small, doesn't matter how large, but put yourself in a situation to where you can do something, any little thing you can do to help change the world. And, um, we as a group of people, we as a family, we as a community can do that because as we know, there's so many children of war right now who are suffering. It's not their fault. You know, they are um, been placed in a position through sheer birth that's at a disadvantage and a tragedy. So let's keep them in mind as we move forward um, in our preparation to be a blessing to somebody's life. And I just wanted to get that off my chest. I'm sorry to get on my soapbox, but thanks for listening to me and uh, appreciate you. Thank you very much, Ambassador Kenneth Dixon. And thank you for watching Hollywood Entertainment News. This is Karosha Onakaro. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.